Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There was one SBC that we were hoping to see yesterday as a part of Footy's content, but instead, EA gave us something different. It was a wild day yesterday, honestly, not because of the SBCs that we got, but really because of how the market and the game reacted to what we did not get. And a lot of prices are falling in areas because of that. We're going to talk about that in today's video and what's going to change today. Division Rivals rewards, big set of rewards today because a lot of people have been playing this week because of the free extra packs and objectives. That's going to impact the market. And we have to talk about a little bit Footy's Team 4. Yes, Team 3 is going away. 99 Neymar. Who's going to be the next 99 rated card that's going to drop on this game? So a lot to talk about today in FIFA 23. And also, if you missed it, yesterday's video, it was a late upload. Right up here, I'll link it. EAFC 24 News for Ultimate Team. We got to look in at some of the new features. A lot of new things revealed yesterday. A lot of questions still. But make sure you check that video out after you watch this one today because there is a lot of really interesting and good information in there. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about content yesterday and start with the objectives. EA had their fun with this objective once again. Footy's Oliver Ant-Man. Um, really not that amazing of a card, but it's really easy to do. And you do get a little bit of XP as they've been doing with these kind of random player objectives. These are really, some people were asking in the stream yesterday, they've replaced the, the Silver Stars. And I'm fine with that because I need the fodder. I'll take these players. I don't think I finished Danger, but this Ant-Man is really easy to do. And, of course, if you're doing Ronaldinho or any of the SBCs that are out right now, a 93-rated card like that is very nice to have for fodder. That was basically all that we had yesterday in objectives. Now, SBCs, we were looking for a 93-plus footies. Shapeshifter player pick yesterday, guys. We talked about it. We were hoping for it. EA, of course, since we talked about it, I think they really watched these and like, okay, Nate says this is going to come out. Yeah, we're not going to release it. All right, they didn't release the 93 plus Shapeshifters player pick yesterday. And instead, we got a player SBC for a guy that we thought was going to be potentially in packs on Friday, Ansu Fati. Now, this SBC card, pretty nasty. Five star, five star, 99 shooting, 98 pace. A lot of people look at this though and they say, wait a second. We're going to be getting a Vinny Jr. here in like maybe a week and a half or two weeks. That's better than this card and same position, same league. Yes, that is very true. We also just got a Ronaldinho that plays left wing that a lot of people are crafting also on the left side, right? So this card, though, still very interesting. I think a decent amount of people are doing it because it is Ansu Fati. His cards are always overpowered in FIFA. I don't know what it is. His cards are always good. It's his body type. It's just the way that he plays in game. It's his dribbling. It's really interesting, though. This almost feels like a shapeshift per se and I feel like he should have been a striker instead of a left wing because they gave him a massive shooting boost 99 shooting um, and only 91 dribbling now 800,000 coins to get this completed a little bit of Barca tax we talk about prem tax right a little bit of Barca tax on this one for sure but that's an SBC if you're not doing Dino if you're a Barca fan if you just want a really interesting unique FIFA card that's one that is there for you but you look at the requirements and it does seem a little bit scary with that price tag you've got a 91 rated squad a 90 rated squad and you get some decent packs back but not really anything that crazy uh, I think only some people are doing that just because it's not too fatty, but that is not at all what we thought was going to be dropped in SBCs yesterday, especially because that was the only SBC that we had. Now, of course, because we didn't get the 93 plus shapeshifter or a team or a footies player pick. Guys, the fodder market is in the mud. Take a look at Informs. They are below 25K. These were all 28, 29,000 coins last night on the video. And guys, these have dropped a lot because the supply is overrunning the demand. A lot of people that had invested in these, uh, again, the supply is coming in because people are listing those up. But really, what's making these drop down the most is we didn't have a new SBC come out requiring them. And every single day now, people are learning more and more. I think it's really brought to a lot of people's attention in this past couple of days that like the team of the week and the team of the season upgrade are really good SBCs to do because it gets you coins back. They're easy to complete. They're cheap. You can do it three times a day and you get coins back from it. Really the kind of the hype of the 400k pack method, which a lot of people have been talking about on social media, opening up a 400k pack, doing these SBCs, getting all the coins back from it. Um, I think that's bringing a lot of extra awareness to these SBCs. And then in total, putting more of those cards tradable on the market because those are tradable SBCs. I think that is a part of the reason 
why these team leak prices are dropping a bit extra. But of course, there is not as much demand as well, which is causing these prices to go down. Team of the Seasons, they're not down as much. Um, again, in the Fati SBC, you need a lot of Team of the Season cards. And I think people are opting for more Team of the Seasons over Team of the Weeks in the other SBCs because they're higher rated. And it's just easier to buy an 88 rated card for 30K. And it seems more worth it to buy a TOTS than it does to buy the cheapest Team of the Week card, which might be 81 or 82 rated for like 24K. You spend 5,000 more coins, you get an 88 rated card for a lot of people. That makes the most sense when they're doing SBC. So I think that's why Team of the Seasons dropped off a little bit, but not that much. 30K for those is pretty low for where they were earlier on in the week, but it really just kind of gives you an idea of where the hype for content is right now. And the really, the hype for content right now is in the objectives, right? The cup, the extra rivals objectives, people playing qualifications so they can get ready for weekend league, all the extra cards and 85 tens that you can get from winning the weekend league finals games. Really the SBC grind this week. Yes, we still have an 85 10. Yes, we still have some SBC players that are nice, but it slowed down a little bit, right? Especially for some of the bigger upgrade packs. The 8430s, not really that hyped. 90 plus icon player pick, not that hyped. We didn't get a 93 plus yesterday. The 90 or the 87 plus player pick is pretty easy to do. So that is why fodder prices are dropping that much. So with that being said, what is fodder going to look like today? And I want to keep on this conversation a little bit because this is probably the best place to make coins right now on this game, but it's also the most important place of the market. I'll say it because what do, what do we do about footies, right? Footies is all about SBCs. What do we know about footies? Footies is all about SBCs and you need fodder to complete SBCs. And these prices, even on the gold cards, just keep dropping. Now, today is a big day for fodder prices because, as we mentioned, and as a lot of you guys know, yeah, these prices are down, but what's coming today to this game is more supply because a lot of people have been playing Division Arrivals because of the objectives that were dropped earlier this week. And, of course, this goes away. This objective goes away today on Thursday. Play 3, play 6, play 9. Who cares about these packs in here? It's that more people played Rivals this week because EA put an objective in here. And if you're like, Nate, no, people didn't do that. It's August. Well, yeah, man. Every time they drop objectives that require squad battles games, look what happens on Sunday. Squad battle rewards impact the market a lot more like they did last week. And guess what? Here we are again. Rivals this time going to impact the market a lot today. Now, a lot of people are taking tradable packs, which makes sense. If you're doing Rivals rewards today, it's at least worth a thought on whether you should take tradable or untradable packs because of all the special cards that are in packs right now, even if you pack an 86 rated Future Star Spence, you know, that's a card that you can quick sell for like 10,000 coins. Or if you pack Zinchenko for birthday, that's 90 rated, it's in packs right now, you're gonna make more coins if you hit special cards out of your rewards. And that's making people take more tradable rewards, which is gonna impact the market in terms of fodder today. But also a lot of people are gonna be tracking or packing cards on tradable from packing the untradeable rewards as well. And that might cause more people on both sides, tra tradable and untradeable rewards, to go do some SBC. So how is the fodder market actually going to work today? Now, there's going to be a lot of supply, tradable and untradeable. The way that I see this, though, is there might be a couple fluctuations on fodder here and there, some prices going down, then rebounding up. I really think overall, because the SBC hype is not that crazy right now, yes, there's a lot of gameplay dem demand. Yes, some people could get their rewards today and go out and want to do some SBCs, but man, De Gea's 8,000 coins. Last week, all these 87s were like 12K. These guys were very, very inflated in price. De Gea was not out of packs. I mean, last week, literally the first week of August, 12,000 coins now 8k i mean some of these guys um they could definitely have a dip today with the supply i, I mean it's going to be really tough to call because um you know more people getting rewards could mean more people go out and actually do some sbcs but with the supply coming in and also with just kind of the lack of sbc hype that we have seen all week long i really don't see it turning around today like unless ea drops some really insane content today on thursday maybe that could make there be a bit of spike right after content on fodder that's what it would take to make fodder go up a lot today so i'm not really looking at investing unless it's for like a very short term quick flip or if you just want to try to trade with fodder and get some lazy sales after rivals rewards today 
I really wouldn't look at investing in fodder because Thursdays for fodder anyway, you have two points of supply. You've got the rivals rewards, it's gonna hit and bring supply to the market, but also you've got marquee matchups. And if you actually take a look at marquee matchups from last week, last week on Thursday, we still had a lot of hype and we saw a lot of demand for SBCs. If you go all the way back to Thursday of last week, fodder prices on Wednesday were up, right? You head into the division rivals, they dipped a little bit, but look at what happened at Thursday of content last week. 86s were like 10, 11,000 coins. They went all the way down to 9K into the early Friday morning hours. They spiked again with good content uh, with the Kunde SBC and all the refreshes that we had on the promo Friday last week. Um, I guess that was good content, right? A lot of people were like, nah, this content is bad. They ended up going back down further. But see this drop off? That was because of marquee matchups. And I think marquee matchups again today, since it's going to be tied in to the objectives XP. Everybody's going to be doing marquee matchups, which is a reminder for me. I have to do marquee matchups as well. I think that's going to make fodder drop off. So if you see any movement on fodder today, it's probably going to be between division rivals rewards and marquee matchups. And if you want to trade in, in there, you can. But really, the safer route would be to watch fodder prices drop. And maybe this includes team of the weeks and team of the seasons as well. Watch these fodder prices after marquee matchups because I think they should be headed downwards. Team of the season cards, team of the week cards should be dropping today, later into the day. And maybe that presents a potential investing opportunity as we head into Friday, right? Remember last week, uh, the Friday content was not that good. Besides the Kunde, we had the Dino, of course, that was a lot of hype. So people went out and they started doing SBCs. You saw fodder spike for a bit, but then it went down into the Friday night time frame like it always does. There might be an opportunity to buy fodder between Thursday night and Wednesday if we get, or sorry, Thursday night and Friday. That's how the week works, right? Yeah. Uh, if there's good content on Friday and we get good SBCs, um, that could be something that makes the fodder market actually go up on Friday at content. So something to keep in mind, but what also impacts that are the leaks, right? And we have not been getting very many leaks recently for content upcoming in footies. We only have one leak right now. It is Sangare. Sangare is coming as a footy soon. Stats for a prediction. This could be an SBC player today. Uh, I don't want to write it off as a card in packs because it doesn't seem honestly up to par of a card that would be in packs. A, um, nothing against the air divisi, but I don't think we've had too many air divisi cards or off league cards in packs in general. We've had a couple, but not very many. This to me seems like an SBC player and it might be today. Maybe it could be an objective player related to the weekend. Who knows? Um, so maybe we see some more leaks today though, about what players are going to be in footies team number three. And if there is a really big player that is released, like remember last week, we did have a Kunde leak. I think that was on Friday though, but we did have a leak, right? And I was like, oh wow, what's this Kunde going to be? SBC, is he going to be a premium, such and such. There's a lot of questions surrounding it, but uh, if we have a big name player that is leaked, I mean, we're also looking forward to another cover star icon guys. I mean, we had Dino last Friday. We had Roberto Carlos the Friday um, before that. We are still looking for another another cover star icon card that could really uh, impact this game via SBC or objective this weekend as well. Of course, it would impact the market a lot more if it was an SBC, but I'm just saying it's a lot of words to say, actually. We talked about fodder for a long time. Fodder is a place to look on this market right now for trading, for quick flipping. I just bought this Jaw Mario for 30,000 coins, sold it for 35K first listing. I bought this Schmeichel for like 28, sold it for 34. He's even lower now, right? Openda bought for 28, sold for 35. The lazy sales are really, really good on fodder because people are doing the SBC. So that's a really good way to trade right now in this game as well, is just buy fodder, lazy list it, um, and you will get some sales. So today as well, as we talked about the leaks, one thing we have to watch out for is um, who's going to be our next 99 rated player? Let's talk about footies team four for just a little bit. Who's going to be our next player, right? We've had um, Neymar, we've had Messi, we've had Ronaldo as our 99 rated players in each of the last three weeks of footies. Footies is not ending as we know it, of course, right? Because there is at least one more week of footies. I would imagine there's going to be at least two or three as well, but we've still got batch two in packs for another eight days, which means there's going to be a team four of footies unless EA just says, Hey, we're going to put the first three teams all back in packs, which would be really crazy. I'm not expecting that. I would expect another 99 rated to be coming out this Friday. Mbappe, Holland are probably the front runners for who that could be. Um, so of course, if you have an Mbappe or a Holland card, they're probably going to get impact in a price. Remember Neymar's card last week got panic sold and went back up and then has dropped ever since. He was like 1.3 mil. Now he's down to 960K 
or something like that. The same thing would happen to the Abate cards if he were to get a 99. Same thing would happen to the Holland cards if he were to get a 99. Prices would go down. They would get panicked. They would maybe go up when the new one's super duper expensive on Friday and then probably drop back down throughout the next week. But what are some other names that could be out there, right? I mean, you think about it right now. There's no special Mbappe in packs. I think that's a reason. If I had to guess of which 99 we're going to be getting today, I think it would be Mbappe because, again, there was no Messi or Ronaldo in Team 1 or Team 2 of Best of, or sorry, Best of Batch 1. There was no Messi or Ronaldo in packs. Now there's a Messi and a Ronaldo in packs for Batch 2. There's no Mbappe or Holland in packs right now for Best of Batch 2. That's why I'm thinking it could be either of those. It could also be a Zlatan, right? Just imagine Zlatan gets a 99 rated premium footies card. I'm it, just dreaming of the thought of that item being in this game, that would be absolutely emotional. Um, another name that could be there, Jude Bellingham, right? Now, I think a lot of people would like to have Zlatan or Jude or maybe even Mbappe or Holland as an SBC. That'd be amazing, right? But those are all names to think about and consider for just a top-tier 99 overall rated player that could be in packs coming tomorrow. So leagues haven't been very plentiful ahead of these footies Fridays. But just kind of keep an eye out for uh, those today. I hate to say a loading screen. We've been wanting to see loading screens, but EA have not really given us anything as of late to look at there in terms of loading screens. Maybe a slight chance for that today, but maybe not. And maybe there's a surprise uh, awaiting us today. Maybe since Wednesday content yesterday was just so mid, maybe today on Thursday, EA is going to go all out and drop like the, 80, the 93 plus player pick or the 83 times 100. Who knows? So a lot of question marks surrounding today, but watch that fodder market. Watch the movements because they're going to be good coins to be made there for sure. And of course, we're all going to be looking forward to what footies team four can bring on Friday. Now, also have to talk about this once again a little bit. So much news from the deep dive. We're not going to go into it because we already did. Like I mentioned, make sure you go after this video and check out the deep dive video. We did reacting to this trailer and then looking through a lot of the information on EAFC24. There's a lot of new and interesting things that we saw, and a lot of these screenshots from inside the game tell a little bit of the story, as well as take a look at your email, guys. If you are trying to get the beta, if you signed up for the communication, beta codes are out. They're being gifted out. A lot of people are getting them. I got mine downloaded. It's here. I'm ready to try this. Can't obviously stream it. It's not something you could take pictures of or anything like that. It's just kind of a closed beta, which would be way more cool if everybody could get it, if it was open, and then we could stream it and talk about it and build the hype that way. But unfortunately, it is closed, and we have to, um, of course, not show any of that or talk about any of that. But make sure you check your emails uh, because that's where the beta codes get sent to, with the email associated with your EA account, which is associated with your PlayStation or your Xbox or your PC account. So that's kind of all news there. Once again, check out the EAFC video from yesterday. But I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. We have a lot more crafting of Dino to do. We're almost there. Dino update is we are 27 of 33 squads, hopefully getting him done for this weekend. Don't know if I'll play weekend league or not, but hopefully getting him done so that we can say we've done it. We got the Dino card and we can move on for some hype with footies team number four. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.